Welcome to another tutorial today. We are going to implement banner ads from AdMob in our application, so let's start with adding required dependencies. Firstly, we will be adding Facebook Shimmer dependency required for Shimmer effect to show ads. Now we will be adding Google AdMob dependency. You can get latest version of dependency from Google AdMob website. Now, adding AdMob app ID and Android.manifest file, I am using test IDs from AdMob website. Now we create a Java class naming it app adds IDs, and we will set banner adds ID from AdMob. Now create a static variable name it as banner ID so we can call this variable on any other class rather than writing banner ID everywhere. You can get test IDs from AdMob website which we are also using in our app. Now create another Java class name it as banner ads. Now we will create a method to load and show banner ads. By using it in class we can call this method to any class where we need to show banner ad. Add required parameters for our method to load banner ads. Such as we will pass it the layout where we will be showing our ad. In out case this layout will be shimmer layout. Now we will initialize add view and add request variables, which will further use to request banner add and show them in view. After that we will add a check to see if our shimmer layout have any ads placed before and remove them if any to show new ad. Otherwise it will show ad on top of previously placed ad. Now we will set size for ad to our banner layout and add view then create a request to load ad according to our size. Here we are setting ad size for simple banner ad and also setting banner ad ID and ad view to load ad accordingly. While setting banner ad ID in our ad view we have simply called the banner ID variable which we have created earlier in separate class. For medium rectangle banner and large banner we will change size of ad accordingly. Now we will create listener for ad. Listener helps us to determine current status of ad such as if ad is loaded, shown or failed to load. Now on ad loaded method we hide shimmer layout and set ad in banner ad layout.
No, we will create layout for showing banner ad. First, we will create a shimmer layout, and then we create buttons on which banner ads will be shown according to size and shimmer layout. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to create more helpful content. Now, adding buttons for simple, medium rectangle, and large banner. Now initialize Google Ad Mom in our main activity class. Then we initialize Shimmer Layout and Buttons in our class. Give IDs two buttons according to IDs in our XML file. Now we call create banner and method on our button click. Pass the required parameters to methods such as context. Shimmer layout in a value according to banner size, such as 1 for simple banner, 2 for medium rectangle banner, and 3 for large banner. Now let's run our app. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to create more helpful content. As you can see, our shimmer layout is showing. Now on button click it will show banner accordingly.